So welcome to this week's top 10 trending skincare poll results. This week's vote was on like hydrating toners and essences. I'll go through the list from like the 10th most popular to the most popular in position one. The results come from a public vote on my Instagram page at Sam by the counter. So let's get straight into it. Uh, number 10, the Neod Superoxide Dysmutase Mist, if that's how you say it. This is a fairly watery texture in like a convenient mist spray bottle. Although I do wish that the mist was a little bit more fine. It can feel a little bit like aggressive, but it's fine, like whatever. And I think the main reason this is popular is that it's just a really like convenient way of sneaking in some antioxidants for a pretty good value considering the volume. Number nine on the list is the Claire Supple Preparation Toner. And number eight on the list is the Haru Haru wonder black rice hydrating toner i haven't tried either eight or nine so i don't really have any opinions on there let me know if you've used and why you love them number seven is the anua heart lift soothing toner and number six is the cosrx propolis synergy toner i didn't find the anua one to be particularly soothing and i'm so sorry if i'm pronouncing that incorrectly both of them are like good hydrating options. They're just not unique enough or they don't really offer anything special enough to actually hold a place in my routine. But I understand why they'd be enjoyable because they do hydrate the skin. Number five is the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. I actually really like this SK2 product partly because it's a heritage product and just growing up, this is very much what represented an essence in my mind. They put so much marketing really in developing this category. So um, I just have an affinity with SK2 too because of that and I think the actual like texture and the way that this absorbs in the skin is quite unique to me it feels like it's actually like going further and like it's hydrating from within very different to all the other essences on this list and I think it's sort of it has earned its cult status number four on the list is the Sarah Deru collaboration with Gotham Easter so it's just called Essence this is a huge favorite of mine I think I've spoken about it several times at this point it's just a really nice blend of thoughtful and functional ingredients where it's almost like a serum in an essence format and although it has a fairly thick like syrupy texture it ends up absorbing really well Number three on the list is the Beauty of Joseon Ginseng Essence Water. I haven't tried this one either, so no real thoughts. I'm not a big fan of this brand, so I don't see myself buying it. Um, but again, if you love it, let me know what it does for you. I'm always up to hear how people experience products. Number two is the Make Micro Ferment Rice Essence. This is actually a pretty unique texture. It's like a milky toner that has been suspended in water. So it definitely leans more watery, but looks milky. There's a little bit of a nourishing kick to it because I think it contains some oils but it still feels very lightweight on the skin plus it features some cool ingredients like niacinamide and beta glucan number one on the list is the equal reaction mushroom b5 toning cocktail i love this as an affordable hydrating and soothing essence toner it is on the watery side but it has a bunch of antioxidants which makes it just more worthwhile and interesting than some of the purely hydrating options around at least in my opinion that's it for this week's list i think it was a pretty quick video um i guess this category is fairly simple it's like hydrate and move on but let me know if you've got any thoughts I always love to hear how you experience products um so yeah and I'll see you in the next video